Hey guys, Jenny Labod here with week two of our ground up mobility. Um, last week, our first week, we worked on just our feet. Uh, this week, we're going to work on our lower legs, so just working our way up the body. You're going to need a softball or a similar size ball of similar density. You're going to need a lacrosse ball. You're going to need a foam roller or a PVC pipe. Um, this is a three inch PVC pipe, I believe. I actually prefer this. It's a little bit more firm, so you can get a little bit more, more bang for your buck. Um, if you're not quite up to this to snuff for this one, then you can just get a foam roller. Again, get a firm foam, foam roller though. So starting with calf, we are going to work with the softball first. And I'm going to have you guys just work on your, the, the back side of your calf. So your gastroc and your soleus, okay? You're going to, from here, put the, the softball kind of on the, the, the lower leg side of the knee. And from here, you're going to just grind back and forth. You're going to go from the medial, so inside, to the outside, just rolling back and forth all the way up and down from the, the, from the knee, the back of the knee, to just above that Achilles. You're just going to work back and forth on that. If you can stand more pressure, you're going to put your leg on top and apply a little bit more pressure, especially on those hot spots. When you find a place that feels like there's a knot in there, put a little more pressure on that. You don't have to move through it. If you can just hang out there for a minute or two and try to think about that, that knot actually releasing about the, the, the muscle kind of enveloping the ball and just sinking into the ball. You're gonna spend minimum a minute doing that. Ideally, we spend a little bit more time. The next one we're gonna do is our lateral calf with the softball. So from here, you're just gonna rotate your foot so that it's open, and you're gonna roll up and down the outside of that calf. So from the side angle, you're here, and then you're just gonna go up and down the outside. You're gonna go all the way from where that little bone is on the side right here. You're gonna go below that bone, that little knobby, and then you're gonna go all the way down that lateral calf. Again, spending more time where it's a little bit more spicy. You can also think about the, the ball moving back and forth. So instead of just going up and down, you're gonna kinda of go side to side over that as you go, as you go up and down. The next one we're going to do, um, our shins don't get a lot of attention, so you're going to use this softball to get into your shin. So we use this muscle all the time. This muscle is what allows us to pick our toes up, okay? So think about when you're walking, this muscle gets a lot of work. So we're going to put the lacrosse ball right where that muscle starts, right in the top right there where it kind of comes together, right at the base of the knee, and from here, you're going to just apply pressure. So you're kind of in this bent position. You're going to put as much pressure as you can, and you're just going to roll yourself down the front of that shin until you get all the way by the ankle. Okay, so all the way down to here. Again, go cross fiber. You're going back and forth. Kind of play around with it and see what you feel. You want to avoid the shin bone. You're not going to make your shin bone softer. Okay, we don't want to do that. We're just going to stay on the muscle. All right, guys, the last one for our tools. Um, we're going to use the PVC pipe or the, the roller. And from here, you're going to roll up and down your calves. So I'm sure you guys have all done this or seen this at some point, but you're going to have the, the roller underneath your, your, your calf, and you're going to pick your hips up if you can. And from here, you're going to do the same thing you did on that softball. You're going to roll back and forth grinding up and down that calf. Again, spend more time where it's a little bit spicier. This guy's, um, again, minimum, very, very minimum minute each side. I would love to see as much time as you can on that throughout the day. I'm not even gonna give you a maximum because um, most people aren't gonna reach a maximum that is too much, okay? So up and down those calves. All right, guys, our final thing for our lower leg is going to be a calf stretch. So you're going to use a door frame, or if you have a pole, even better. Um, you can get a little bit more, more leverage on it. But you're going to get your toes up the wall or up the door frame or up your pole, and then you're going to put your heel on the floor. And from here, you're just going to squeeze your butt and push your hips forward towards the pole or the door frame until you start to feel a stretch in that calf, in that lower leg. And you're going to hold this here, okay? Um, from here, after you hold that for a minute or so, you're going to now bend your knee, keep your foot
foot in the same position and just bend your knee towards the wall. You're gonna feel the stretch more in your lower leg, so in, I'm sorry, your lower calf, so like in your, in your soleus, okay? So it just shifts it. If you're tightening your Achilles, you're definitely gonna feel it there on this one. 